Welcome back everybody. Carmen here with Fresh Cut Flower Farm. And today I am finally going to reveal what is under all of this black landscape fabric. I put this fabric down, I think maybe October of last year, and I've not peeped at it or anything, so I have no idea of how well it did in killing the grass and the weeds. So what my plan is, is to lift off part of it. I'm not gonna take all of it off because I'm not ready to use the whole thing. I'm just gonna take off this uh, first bit here enough to do one three foot bed and we'll get that bed done and then I'm going to plant those sunflowers that I seeded on March the 7th. I'll get those into the ground. Let's have a look. All right, get that off. landscape fabric I just I loathe it I'm sure it works great for some people but this is a struggle every single time and you can see here oh, we have such terrible soil here this is what it's like trying to drive in landscape uh, the staples just a battle. I've got another one here. Yeah, just bends them all to get out. So it looks like it did a decent job. You can see there's some stuff here that it did not kill, but I'm still going to use it anyway. So this particular piece of ground has never been anything other than part of our yard. So I think the thing to do is to aerate the soil a little bit. I, I don't want to till it um, because I'm trying to get away from tilling. And I just, my main reason for that is I don't want to bring more weed seeds to the surface. So I think I'm going to go get my fork. I don't have a broad fork, just a regular old fork. And... Um, just kind of aerate the soil and then put my compost over that and then we'll plant the sunflowers into that. I got two 128 trays so what two about 250 to plant so I'm pretty sure I can get all of them into that space there pretty easy and I want to keep the rest of it covered till I'm ready to use it. I have some of the um, this uh, biodegradable film. So I'm thinking I might use that to put, to plant the sunflowers into to help keep the soil warm during um, these cooler days that we're having. I think that would be a good idea. So I'm going to grab that. I actually purchased this last year and never used it. So we'll put it to use today. All right, so I've got that, and these are three by 50 foot. I know Nicole at Flower Hill Farm has used this, Lisa Mason Ziegler uses it, and you're supposed to put soil up on the edges to hold it in place, but I really, I don't think that's gonna work for me. So I think I'll just put a little bit of the compost on top to help hold it down, and maybe some sandbags around the edges to hold it as well. So, okay, I'm gonna get the camera set up and get started.
so I'm out here planting and I keep hearing this banging <laughs> and I look over and a baby calf has gotten stuck in between the water and the fence. kick me. Now hang on. Let me get through the gate over here. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to weld some stuff in there. Let me crawl over again. See if he can't get his head out. Hang on, buddy. In the world. Oh my gosh. Okay. I couldn't get her out, and so I put the phone down to call my husband. And while I was on the phone with him, she got herself out. So she's back with mom. <laughs> oh, farm life, let me tell you. Okay. So I've got all of those planted. I'm glad to have that job done. Um, it's supposed to be kind of nasty today, but it's turned out to be a nice, nice sunny day. So it worked out well. So those are all done and yeah, that's it. We'll see how they do. Like I said, these sunflowers I started on March 7th and um, I'm gonna try and hopefully they'll hit Mother's Day. The uh, sunfill greens I spaced about six inches apart. The white nights I put a little bit closer, probably four to five inches, because I don't want real big blooms on those. So, well, that is it for this video. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.